Scott and Maria Capricorn and Astrological Chart. All the information you're looking for is in the description box down below. Thank you so much for supporting Psychic Sid. If you'd like a person to read your information, is in the description box down below next to the butterfly. So the future of Capricorn's love life is jealousy. So you're really jealous. You could be jealous of whoever you're in a relationship with. You could be very jealous of others. Like, oh, everybody has a relationship but me. Okay, there's just a lot of jealousy in your love life. Okay, future energy. Yeah, okay. The Three of Pentacles, Capricorn, and Mars, Neil Young. So your future energy is... An awareness that finances are combined. Nine of Cups. My nose is itching. Wheel of Fortune. Justice. Ace of Swords. King of Cups is in reverse. Sun. Okay. You are ending a relationship. You have the King of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, and the Sun. And both the King and the Knight and the King of Cups are all in reverse. Okay. If you're in a relationship, they're cheating on you. Masculine energy is cheating on feminine energy in a relationship. There's no sign of fidelity in this reading. I feel like you're playing the blame game. The way you view love is, has been warped. Simply because you... Yeah, this is the Seven of Swords. This is a short-term relationship. It's ending because of this, this moon. The, the blue moon, the full moon, and Aquarius, it's ending. Like, it's illuminating that this is a short-term relationship. That's why it's ending. Um, somebody's cheating. Or they're stealing. Or they're not even financially stable or, or possibly employed with the Knight of Pentacles or King of Pentacles in reverse. This can be like somebody doesn't want the relationship or they're just cheating. Um, King of Pentacles in reverse can also be overweight. Um, I also feel like you love your job. I see you getting what you want in career, okay? But this is really going to stem from you having a lot of self-love. You're not, if you're in a relationship, it's like you're playing the blame game, even hiding legal documents from somebody. It's like you're playing the blame game about how, oh, the relationship went, into the, but the truth is you got into the relationship. If this is legal, this is not going in your favor, Capricorn. Um... Honestly, like, you're playing the blame game about the fact that you got into a relationship where you were not treated the right way, but you got into it willingly. And you're realizing it's not for you. Ace of Swords is in reverse. This is like, this is not your truth. This relationship, this connection, being with this individual, it's not your truth. If anything, there is no clarity because you're in some type of unhealthy relationship. Someone has an addiction with the King of Cups in reverse. They give emotion, take it away. Um, they're emotionally manipulative. Uh, or cheating. Someone's cheating in the relationship. I feel like this is something you're realizing, oh, I attracted this into my life. Because it's the very energy that you were embodying. So you've attracted in somebody who's not faithful to you, a short-term relationship. Someone's okay with going their own way. Someone's also, if you're in a relationship, they're looking at somebody else in another state or country. They're looking at someone really far away. They're looking at other love options. This is the end of a 12-year cycle. I feel like you're no longer going to talk to this person. There's no intimacy. And you're stalking. You're stalking. It's toxic. The devil. The ace of cups is in reverse. 
The princess of swords is in reverse. You're stalking. You're stalking. You're stalking. You're looking through this person's phone, computer, anything technological, their social media. You're using other profiles to watch this person with the princess of swords in reverse. Of course, Super Gemini, you're gossiping really horribly about them. And it's toxic, it's the devil. Capricorn. And it's a breakup. In the next 11 days, you're going through a breakup with the Ace of Cups in reverse. The love is no longer requited, and someone tried to replace their mother for their girlfriend, and the intimacy died. <sighs> intimacy died. Uh, Knight of Pentacles in reverse is like, in, is, is uh, body dysmorphia, jealousy, can be really like, um, plays a lot of video games. The conversation's minuscule, like it's not even any feeling or emotion because the person isn't trying to be mean or anything, but it's almost like they really don't feel any emotion for the relationship or the connection. And they can't fake that because the earth energy is the most demonic. Someone cannot fake that they really just aren't interested in a relationship. They can't fake it. And that's why it's so toxic because it's almost like I don't want to be the bad guy, so I, I hope that Capricorn just ends this or that it just it ends. I feel like someone could be ending it with you, the King of Pentacles reverse. You could be the King of Pentacles like on oh, ending it or you're dealing with somebody who wants to end it. They don't want to be in a relationship or they have a gambling addiction. This person could work um, with the psyche, with the law, the legal system. Psychology, emotions, philosophy, spirituality, um, esoteric occult, magic, finances, taxes, loans, assets, other people's money, athletes, sports, literature, money, health, could be a doctor, or someone who works with like plants, okay, the military, brotherhood. It's a short term relationship though. You've been sitting in a short term relationship with the Seven of Swords, or you've been getting away with cheating. You've been getting away with lying and stealing and cheating and these different things. And now someone is like, I am ready to go my own way away from this relationship. I'm okay with moving on. The Chariot, Cancer, Aries, Scorpio, right into the Two of Wands, Aries, Scorpio. You know what they say? They say, if somebody is willing to just leave a relationship, right? Typically, it's because that individual already had their eyes set on something else. Because when people are fully invested into a relationship, that they put all they put their all into it. They, they they haven't put their energy and effort into other things, so they fight for it that much more, right? That's not what's happening here. Somebody's moving on to their joy and their happiness. I feel like you have a new love coming in towards you, like somebody brand new. You're not reconciling with somebody. You're not coming back together with someone you've already been in a relationship with. It's just not happening. It's not supposed to. The next 11 days, I feel like there is extremely harsh communication and there is a breakup because this was like, you guys had a lot in common and the moon in Aquarius, um, man likes to, you know, surround themselves with particular friends and, and different things like that in order to point out all their flaws and insecurities so that they don't look at his. And the moon in Aquarius woman is very um manipulative typically the moon and aquarius woman is also um, and this is not just what has been studied but this is also through um not just theory but also experience i've had clients with this with these particular placements um the seven of swords with the moon and aquarius moon and aquarius woman is she likes for her and her partner to be isolated away from other people. So she likes to pick men that are, that are gullible or that she believes are very gullible. Um, people who are gonna allow her to disrespect them without them doing anything in return. Moon Aquarius woman is actually very rude. Um, 
she wants whoever she's with to feel just as bad as she does. And it's like a high for her. Once she's made them feel just as bad as she has, then, you know, the whole process starts all over again because the self-esteem goes right back down. There's a sense of indifference and coldness with the moon and Aquarius woman. Um, she likes to have a lot in common with her partner, but in that process, it's also like, it's not real. It's built off of something that is not meant to last for a very long time. Um, typically, if she ends up, uh, you know, being able to, to get the person across the altar and all this different stuff, um, gets divorced. Very typically gets divorced. And the relationship that the children have with the father disperses because Moon Aquarius woman can talk very badly about her past partners, exes, and she makes it seem like it was all on them. But nobody sees what was going on behind closed doors. Nobody sees how she killed this person's confidence. Um, the type of signs I've seen Moon Aquarius women typically go for because they feel like that type of masculine energy is very gullible. Uh, cancers, they love being able to um, have cancer men, sun and cancer men. I've also seen, uh, because they feel like the cancer man is, is going to allow them to disrespect them and not say anything in return. And in that process, a lot of times um, with that sign, Virgos, Virgo men, and also uh, can be Aries men, they usually try to manipulate these type of men because they think they're gullible and that they can get away with bloody murder and they're not going to do anything. Oh, this person's loyal to me. I can do whatever I want. Um, in Capricorn, you are known, the, the sun, moon, rising sun, and even Venus in Capricorn woman is known for being in relationships purely for money. She will really be in a relationship purely for money. It, she does, there does not have to be love involved for her to be in a relationship with somebody. So, if it does lead into marriage, typically with the moon and Aquarius energy, as far as the woman goes, she'll end up having a lot of children um, with that individual, and the moon and Aquarius woman has mental illness. So the mental illness gets passed down to the children. The children have a very strained relationship with the father due to how badly the woman talks about the man now that they're no longer together. Um, it becomes almost like an obsession to try to bring that person down. But nobody sees that part. Nobody really gets to see that part. Um, she can be very public as well as like, oh, like talking really badly about her ex. Like she doesn't really care. But nobody sees the abuse that happens in a relationship with a moon and Aquarius woman or man. It's very indifferent. They don't validate their own emotions, so they cannot validate their partners or other people's emotions. Um, there's mental illness with the moon and Aquarius energy as well. Uh, you are realizing that something's just not meant to be. It's out of your control. It makes you angry. But I'm also seeing like a, um, there's been a lot of manipulation involved here. And it, that's why it ends. And remember, this is really allowing somebody to be free to go after what is meant for them and you to go after what is meant for you. This is like a, a really abusive relationship. And if you are in an abusive relationship, please get the help that is needed. I see it's abusive on both sides. The woman is uh, intellectually, mentally um, abusive. Okay, it, it playing mind games, stalking, not respecting the boundaries. Not res you're not respecting someone's boundaries at all, Capricorn. Um, and that's why this relationship is ending. Someone is dropping out of it. They're not investing. In it. They're being very stingy with their money because they're well aware that the intentions may not be in the right place. Okay? Um, yeah. I feel like some of you are receiving child support. And you're also fantasizing about other people. Like you're fantasizing about other love options. Um, some of you are online dating and you're not telling whoever you're in a relationship with that. You're not telling them that you're like on dating apps and stuff or you're fantasizing about somebody else. Okay. But 
The medallion. 59. Breaking down to a 14. Your next evolution is the willingness to let go of something that is really abusive, really toxic. Um, and also change your view of what love is. Because the truth is, I bet you, I mean, there's a lot of, uh, I have a lot of men clients, a lot of women clients. Even though you can watch this reading and you're like, oh, this person's all in the bra, blah, blah, blah. you would not have attracted this person unless you are embodying the same energy. So yeah, King of Pentacles in verse, he's only in it for the money. He's only in a relationship for money. But you are embodying that energy. That's why you attracted somebody like that. Somebody could be unemployed or they hate their job possibly over here or they're unemployed. Um, you attracted somebody who's emotionally unavailable. It's short term. There's cheating, there's lying, there's still there's getting away with different things. And with this full moon in Aquarius, this, this blue moon, it's eclipsing things out of people's life. Relationships that are just not working. Relationships where people are cheating and, and staying in it for money. And it's, it's not real. It's just not real. These things are being eclipsed and they're not coming back. You know if you let somebody go, it's not going to come back. The relationship is not going to come back. You know that. And you're like, well, I'll be damned if this person goes on to somebody else. Or I put in all this energy and effort. I'll be damned if I let them go to be happy with somebody. If you really love somebody, you want them to be happy even if it's not with you. That's the truth. But you're now realizing you're not a part of this person's happiness. You're not even happy in the situation. You may be happy because you're able to manipulate them. But they're not happy. Doesn't another person's feelings matter too? It's extremely imbalanced. Extremely imbalanced. Yeah. I feel like you cried a lot. And yet, don't tell Capricorn. Capricorn, what? You are coming out. It. You have the Queen of Pentacles and the Empress in reverse. Capricorn, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Empress is in reverse, Taurus, Libra. Both you and this individual, if you're in a relationship, both of you are like overweight, not taking good care of yourselves. Um, both of you don't want to be in this relationship or you're only in a relationship for money. That's the whole sole purpose of it. You're willing to be in it for money and they're willing to only be in it for money. And now neither one of you are happy with the Empress. There is abuse. There is absolute abuse going on here. Uh, lack of ability to get pregnant. There's, there's, there's lack of fertility, the incapability of being able to get pregnant and have a child. You may not have told this person that. There's cheating on both sides. Both the man and the woman is cheating in their relationship. Both of you. Because both of you are coming out. King and Queen of Pentacles are both in reverse. Empress, reverse. King of Cups, reverse. Oh. Oh. It's also like a double standard. You were okay with staying in a commitment or relationship where you were able to manipulate somebody, right? And have another person on the side. And now that you're realizing somebody else is doing the same thing, it's like, what's the point of being in the relationship at all? Like, you're interested in someone outside the relationship and they're interested in someone outside the relationship as well. So there's really no reason for it to continue. Both of you have been cheating. Both of you. Your next evolution is you being willing to learn something new, being willing to realize also this is going to happen in your lifetime or it happen like I feel like this is something that happens in every lifetime for you. You killed your partner. You killed whoever like 
whoever you end up marrying or whatever, you killed them. Or they killed you. This has happened in every lifetime to you. Okay? It's about being aware of that. You got to be aware of that. Your next evolution involves you realizing that if you stay in something that is this toxic, there's going to be repercussions. There's going to be problems. Because this is this is straight up abuse. All of this is abuse. Your next evolution is you being aware that the real reward is walking away from an unhealthy situation. You are gossiping extremely bad about this person. But people, like unless somebody were to watch this reading, they wouldn't know that you were cheating too. Stuff was happening behind closed doors. You're abusive too. Financially abusive, mentally abusive, emotionally abusive. That's what, that's what's been happening behind closed doors. There is no intimacy. You're not attracted to each other anymore. There's, it, it's erectile dysfunction. Someone also doesn't like that you can't have children. That's like a problem for them. That's a real problem. The Empress in Reverse is abusive. So there has been real, actual abuse going on. What's the truth you hide from yourself and others, Capricorn? Even on my worst day, just looking at you melts everything away. Let's see. I feel like you have somebody else. Like, you, a lot of you, if you're in a relationship, you have other people you're dealing with romantically outside of the relationship. The feminine energy especially. The man is doing it as well, but it's really the feminine energy that has another person hidden. So you may, a lot of women do that. A lot of women come to me and they're like, I wanted a reading for da -da 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 -da, for my love life, and da -da -da. I'm currently in a relationship, and I wanna see what's going on with it. We'll do the reading, and they may find out that someone's cheating on them, or they find out whatever it is, and then they come out and they say, oh, well, I cheated already. I cheated before this person cheated. Like, I already have another individual. I'm in love with somebody outside the relationship. I've just been waiting for this relationship to end. I don't want to seem like the bad guy. Or um, there is a psychological jealous. There's a sense of jealousy where they're like, I don't want to let the person go for them to be happy. Even if you're in love with two different people. Not even in love with the person you're in a relationship with. You fell out of love with the person you're in a relationship with. In love with somebody outside of your relationship. And like you're just not sure how to get out of it because there's finances combined. Children. Um, people know about it. Right? So, <laughs> it's about none of that. If you love somebody unconditionally, you want them to be happy even if it's not with you. But you know when you let somebody go, it's not coming back. Because it's not meant to. That's what you know. You know that. It will be ending a cycle. A giant cycle of abuse. Where you may have benefited from it. But it can't continue. Because if not. There will be something very bad that does happen. And you could have prevented it. By you deciding to move on away from this abusive relationship. It has the potential to kill you. Either you you killed your partner violently or they killed you violently in other lifetimes. This is something that has happened. This is like a really unstable situation that has the potential to become very dangerous. Very dangerous. Okay? This has been your reading. If you'd like a personal reading information in the description box down below next to the butterfly. You're only in it for money. You have the Four of Pentacles, Sun and Capricorn, and you have the Moon. So there's a secret love involved here. You have somebody who's a secret. Like, you have somebody that you have emotion for, but it's a secret. You're hiding them. This is a materialistic relationship. And you've been holding on to it, hiding your money away from the other person, your emotions away from the other person. It's time to forgive and move on. Let this go. This is abusive. I don't condone abusive relationships whatsoever. There's addiction, there's codependency. Um, 
both the man and woman are both abusive in the situation. The woman is, um, I would say, more abusive in the situation than the man, but you guys are both guilty and at fault. And sometimes it's just you guys both don't work out together and it's, it's, it's not meant to be type of thing, you know? Um, I feel like you're slandering this individual and you're stalking, you're watching them. And I'm, why? You know, this is happening in the next 11 days, a breakup. And of course, you're going to tell your story and da -da 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 -da, you know, oh, this person did this, this, and this to me. Da -da -da. Make sure that you are well aware that you attracted that person because you were doing the same thing. And if you continue doing the same thing, even when you're single, you're going to attract this type of relationship all over again because you didn't learn the lesson the first time. Okay? This has been your reading, Capricorn. Personal reading information in the description box down below next to the butterflies. I say.